it's lockdown season. I feel like I'm going a little bit insane, a little bit crazy. Haven't been out of the house in quite some time. It sucks. Um, haven't been putting fits together. I've been cooped up in the house, so at least it's good for me or for you guys rather because I just get to edit all day. But honestly, it just kind of like nerfs your whole creativity. So like anytime I get the slightest moment to go outside, whether it's a meeting, whether I have to go do something, groceries or something, I get dressed up for no reason at all. What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video. And today we have a winter pickups. So I'm really excited to do this because I haven't done this in about a month. I think the last one I did was on the tail end of November. So now we're in January. I've accumulated a couple of items that I felt like I definitely want to show you guys. A couple of the pieces you guys have been seeing on my Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and so <laughs> this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. Yeah, I've had a couple items on there that people have been asking about and they're like, oh my God, when are you gonna show in the video? I've been stacking them up like I normally do so that I have a good amount or a healthy amount of items to showcase. With all that out of the way, let's get straight into these pickups. So the first one is by my good friend Noah, AKA Beamski. You guys know him as my little youngin. He's like a young style god out of Montreal. I think I had a vlog not too long ago where he was featured in it. And you guys were like kind of confused as to why I was hanging out with him. But honestly, he's the future definitely the future and he's already starting his own brand which is insane especially for his age so this is just one of the pieces that is like kind of like the beginning steps of things and it's just this bandana he gave it to me really cool little piece definitely going to be something i tie onto my bags it's something that i've been i've known i've been known for so yeah it's this garden party yellow bandana the brand is called garden party so that's the logo right there Definitely really sick. You guys know yellow is my favorite color. And then you have Kate Moss right there with the little bunny ears, really cool. The only thing I do is like, I wish the motif or the motif rather was on the back as well. But honestly, it's pretty sick because regardless, you're gonna be like wrapping it up like this, like this. So it's gonna be the same wherever you end up putting it. So yeah, I would tie it to the end of a bag. Really cool little hint of detail for any uh, bag or carrying item you want to bring around with you. So yeah, definitely tie some bandanas if you want that extra bit of flair. Shout out to Noah, Garden Party, go check them out. Okay, on to the next. This is also a couple of items that some people have been asking me about. They're sent to me from Pangaea. Shout out to Pangaea, they're insane. They literally sent this to me out of nowhere. This was not part of a brand deal or anything, not sponsored at all. I had worked with them before and then the holiday season came around and then I just had a box on my doorstep and it was literally just like a little holiday package they curated for me. They sent me like a bunch of notebooks. Do I have one here? Yeah, I do. Oh, whoa, I'm knocking things over. I almost died. But yes, they sent me this Pangaea notebook. Let me take it out. Yellow, you guys know my favorite color is yellow. I kept this one and then I gifted a bunch of other ones. Oh yeah, this is made out of like bamboo fiber, stuff like that, crazy. But yeah, kept the yellow one because you guys know me. So I'm definitely gonna do like a bunch of like design or like consulting notes in here. And sorry, I'm like all over the place this video, my bad. But anyway, I gave out the other colors. They gave me like seven other colors. Obviously I'm not gonna be using that many notebooks anymore because I'm not in school. So I figured I'd give out the rest, keep the yellow, be sustainable as the brand is uh, and only use the things that I actually need. <laughs> Talks all of that while he has like a million clothes behind him or whatever. Shout out to Pat Gaia. They sent me those notebooks and they sent me some clothing. Of course, I can't talk about Pangai with other clothing, but this, this right here, definitely one of my most worn beanies this season. All black recycled cashmere beanie from Pangaea. Really beautiful piece. Just has this like rubberized Pangaea logo here, but the rest is recycled cashmere. Super soft and just very cautious. Like I said before, Pangaea is a beautiful company for everything sustainable. I've worked with them in the past, so you already know the drill. But yeah, beautiful little hat. Hat. I've been wearing this a ton. Uh, if you guys are into these like whole like scully caps that just like hug your head, definitely gives you the same vibe and it's just blacked out rib. I think there was like a Chanel one that James and I were looking at not too long ago. That's that for like a fraction of the price and it's sustainable, so perfect. On to the scarf wave. You guys know I've been messing with the scarves a whole ton. The Pangaea logo right there. And then what is this? This just says how the tag is sustainable as well, I believe. 
And then yeah, they sent me the same material that recycled cashmere, but in a scarf. So not as wide as I'd normally like my scarves to be, but we could definitely do something with this. Yeah, that's how you wear a scarf, right? Recycled cashmere scarf, really sick, super soft. I love the beanie. I'm gonna have to see if I could style the scarf because I normally like wider scarves, like the blue one that I used in the other video. Love what they sent me. Shout out to Pangaea. I appreciate you guys so much, dearly. On to the next item. You guys saw me pick this up in a recent vlog that I did before the whole lockdown. Now your boy is cooped up inside, can't leave, and I have curfew, which is insane, by the government, issued by the government. I have to be inside the house before eight, which is insane. So from Essence, Shout out to the people at Essence, always holding it down. This was scooped up in that video. I haven't opened this bag since that video, but yes, this Jacquemus, yes, Jacquemus, I believe that's how you pronounce it uh, for all my French, my Frenchies out there, but yeah, beautiful brand. Definitely one of my favorite newer brands out there. I feel like their women's wear is phenomenal and I tend to shop mainly their women's wear because the men's wear is like, it's okay, but it's not all the way there. The women's wear is just the most chic and the most flattering, I would say. And some pieces you could definitely wear as a guy. I'm just unbuttoning this to let you guys know the exact size I went for. I got this in a 40. So this is an oversized white or like off-white or sail blouse or shirt. And I've been wanting one of these for quite some time now. Uh, every time I see them, they're either too feminine, so the cuff is too tight or like the sleeves aren't long enough. And every time i try to thrift one there's like a spot on it or it's just not right i have one white button-up shirt that's more like standard not super oversized but yeah i just felt like this is a great vibe when i'm trying to get like my my whole 90s fit off with like the the 990 new balances just this uh plain blue pair of levi's and just that this have this shirt open you could definitely have a good low casual yet very presentable and elegant outfit at the same time so yes jacquemus beautiful sail or off-white colored shirt it doesn't feel like most of the shirts i have i would say it's a very soft end of most of the fabrics that i have for button up shirts so yeah Definitely go check them out. I'll have it in the link in the description below. I got it at a certain price. It went lower than that a day after I was able to like redeem the whole Essence 14 day discount situation. Cause like if they discount it and it's within 14 or 15 days, then you could get reimbursed that money. And it happened on the 15th day. And I was like, ah, but whatever. It was like a couple bucks, like nothing crazy, but on to the next item. We have the noisiest jacket I've ever bought ever in my life. <laughs> Hold on, let's get it right for you guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm warning you ahead of time for all headphone users or whatever, because my mic might be loud, especially with this noisy ass jacket. But let's get this correct for you guys. We have this Arcteryx. You have this Arcteryx Alpha SV jacket. So this is their top of the line jacket i love this piece just because i've been eyeing it for probably close to two years now i've been going into the archaic store trying this jacket on and like psyching myself out not to get it basically being like oh it's too much money it's too much money eventually something came through where your boy got it discounted i paid half the price of the retail so i could justify it a little bit more because retail is like 950 or a thousand dollars i feel like that's a bit absurd for a shell jacket even though i know it's like literally top of the line quality it's gonna wick away all types of water left and right it's literally melt meant for for avalanche survival and like the most absurd hikes you could go on um i'm not putting it through any type of wear like that i might go on a hike here and there with my girlfriend or with friends family stuff like that whenever the event occurs. But for the most part, I'm not going on hikes every day. Obviously I'm buying this for stylistic purposes. So if you have a problem with that, this is not the video for you, obviously. But I personally find Arcteryx has been a brand that has been getting more hyped and hype as the months go on, but I've been appreciating them for quite some time now, especially with my friend Casey. He's introduced me to the brand way, way, way back in Montreal. It's one of the main uh, brands that you could find when it comes to outerwear, when it comes to North Face, Arcteryx, Patagonia, all of these things are brands that keep you warm in Canada. So definitely shout out to Arcteryx for holding us down, keeping us warm. 
and keeping it stylish a little bit because obviously some of their pieces have been getting more incorporated into the style realm. I personally find that was the best jacket for me because it is very cropped. Once you like press these little, there's these little like pull switches at the bottom that can like kind of cinch it at the waist. Then you could tuck it in and then make it a bit more cropped. All the other jackets were a little too long for me. Only issue I have with that jacket is that there is like there's pockets, but not where you can put your hands in obviously because it's not meant for that. It's not a casual wear jacket. It's more of like a, a actual mountain climbing jacket. So I wasn't expecting that out of it. But if you do this like kind of like cross your arm situation, you could put your hands in a pocket. So it's not that brutal, beautiful jacket. I'm talking you guys' ears off. I personally love it. Go check it out if you haven't already. I'll have it in the link in the description box below. Now on to two heavy hitters we got get all the uh get all the puns out of the way the money on money on me i drip my sleep i push a button blah 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 marnie okay so marnie a brand that only got super like to the tier of like huge popularity because of the song of course you guys know uzi and future popularized it with the song it's been a brand that's floated around into like this bracket of fashion i would say because of the likes of them and then also asap bari i wasn't buying into the brand because of the influence that i've had from those people whether it's intentionally or or subconsciously but i was personally on the hunt for a pair of loafers okay i've been buying into boots i put my elbow next to the palo santo stick that you guys think is a joint but now there's ash all over the place i'll have to clean up that after getting into the rest of this i was looking for a pair of loafers i personally am a fan of expanding my wardrobe and getting things that are necessary in completing it and making it as robust as possible and one of the things that i felt like i was missing was loafers or low top smart shoes and one of those things that I didn't have was a loafer. A loafer and a derby. I'm on a hunt for a pair of derbies later on. I think like I don't really need them right now because I have boots that fit that bill for me. But right now the loafers are doing a great job for me. But yeah, I was on a hunt for a pair. I, I was looking at a pair of Alix ones. They were nice, but a little too classy. Same thing with a pair of Saint Laurent ones that I was looking at as well. They were all just very like standard. And I was like, okay, they're cool. But where's the oomph? And I found the oomph with this Marnie pair. Beautiful, beautiful pair of shoes. You guys will see it shortly. Honestly, not the biggest fan of the box. I probably won't keep it. It's a little stale to me. We have the Marnie platform loafers. This is such a beautiful shoe, people. I, You guys know I'm a big fan of platform shoes. I feel like they're great for the wider style silhouettes that I've been gravitating towards as recent, as well as flares. My most recent outfit that I put together, like people were loving the way I styled it. Very 70s-esque. So like, this is like a match made. Like I have been saying before, platforms are the way to go for the style choices that I've been making recently. So yeah, they have this Marnie, like when it fits to like the penny style loafer, but they put this like a little silver version of a penny in there. It says Marnie on the front. And then it is this full calf grainy leather and the lining is just beautiful. Like look at that, look at that brown. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. The square toe makes it very like grown manish, but you can make it youthful. Like the way I styled it is very youthful, 70s inspiration. And I just feel like that suits my style. Um, it's very versatile, my style, I would say right now. Bars. <laughs> but this is definitely one of the things within my style that I enjoy a lot, which is like the whole like 70s, elevated, chic, all of that into one. But yeah, these Marnie loafers are beautiful. Definitely some of my favorite footwear as of recent. Been going very crazy with the footwear. Gotta chill out because I'm losing space, but uh, definitely love those shoes. Speaking of footwear, we got the last one. Something that people have been, ah, asking a whole lot of questions about because people are on the fence if they should buy it or not. We got another one. We got another one, people. Wait, hold up. Ooh. Bottega Veneta, got another one in here. <sighs> to be very honest, the only reason I was influenced to buy these shoes was one, because of the price. Price is pretty reasonable. And also I had to warm up to wanting to get these shoes, not based on influence, but based on like, I seen them styled 
on my friend Eugene. He has the lime green pair, or he, like, he was the first person I seen with them ever. Um, I didn't even see them on Instagram much at that point when he first had them. He wore the lime green pair. I was like, damn, that's a very loud boot. Like, I don't know if I'd ever be able to style that. And I thought, well, once I looked it up after I seen him styling it, only seen that and the brown. And I was like, those aren't colors. Those aren't colors that speak to me. It was like the light brown at that time. And then they released the dark brown. And I was like, also really cool, but I feel like brown's very trendy right now. Not something that I absolutely need. If I was going to get one, I would rather it be black. Time goes on and then the black one releases and I was like, okay, I think I have to do it to him, especially since you guys know I love the wide pants that I've been styling a lot. And if there's a platform shoe that I feel like is very versatile and I'll get a lot of wear out of, and it just looks great with wide pants and it's wearable, then you know I'm all for it. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing a review for this one. So I'll just touch base on everything that I love and hate about the shoe. Love the platform also love how it just wicks away everything on this material you could literally just wipe it off with a lysol wipe or literally a paper towel anything like all it takes is water so yeah bottega veneta branding on the inside it's a hundred percent i think biodegradable materials that are composed to make this shoe i think it was like cocoa beans that make up this rubber so it's sustainable once again something that i value it's just the platform the fact that you could just wipe things off i've been wearing these a ton in the winter i know i watched a video where someone told me not to wear them in the winter because you'll slide around uh because of like the bottom there's not much traction there but the more you wear them on like cement and like surfaces that are a bit abrasive it kind of like gains more texture and you're able to kind of like find your grounding so yeah, that's what I really like about these, but definitely be careful if there's ice, you'll probably slip because it's rubber at the end of the day. But I will say I've been gravitating towards these more than the lugs if it's snowy outside because I don't like getting salt on the lug boots because once salt gets onto the foamy platform, it kind of soaks into there and then I have to hit it with vinegar and all of that. And then it's kind of just like, it's a nightmare. But once salt gets on these, I hit it with water and maybe the slightest bit of vinegar if it's being stubborn right off perfect i love these i literally love these boots because of how easy they are they're so easy literally when i go to like throw things out in the garbage outside i'll just chuck these on because the shaft is huge i thought that was going to be something that was going to be annoying but with the wider cut pants it is fantastic so it's not too much of an annoyance the bad thing the one bad thing about the well two because of the platform and because of how wide the shaft is your leg will be standing in this and you'll feel kind of like not secure because the shaft isn't tight on your ankle and then that will cause you to feel like kind of topsy-turvy your leg will kind of do this and then the platform will like kind of cave out and you'll feel uneasy like you know when like some runway models will walk on the catwalk and then they do this because of their high heels slipping out that's what you kind of get that feeling with this and that's kind of scary i never felt that before so that was one thing and then the other thing if you're buying these shoes and you have a high arch you could clearly see that there's this concave right here it goes a lot lower than people imagine so in the first couple of weeks of me wearing this it was very uncomfortable it was like pushing down on the top of my arch i thought like i had an abnormally large arch or something but two of my friends that purchased the exact same boots local to me in montreal they're wearing them as well and and it came up in conversation they're like yo is your is your the top of your arch hurting as well and we all like mutually came to the conclusion that that's the problem like literally it's just factory like that so if you're able to bear through that for a couple of weeks i think eventually they do kind of stretch out just because it's rubber i don't know if they actually do but my foot's become uh used to it now it's not like i don't feel the pain um when i put in my foot it's completely fine there's no issues so yeah that's it. I talked a lot about those. I just didn't want to have a whole review about those because the lug boot video did okay. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but I figured you guys would love the information in this one along with all the other pickups that I got. So thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Once again, I really appreciate all your time. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been loving the content and 
I've just been so taken aback by all of the support I've been receiving on the channel recently. So thank you a million miles. Like you guys are great. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed everything that I showed off in this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite item from this haul was in the comments below. And yeah, like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow my Instagram if you haven't already. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that, so that's what you can check out on there. I'm out of here. Peace. Up in the morning, I